I love to find adventure anywhere in life, and I think you can do it. You can, you can have fun in almost anything. Uh, for instance, recently, I've even been able to liven up online shopping. Because all I buy online is just the Bible and anal adventurers five. <laughs> That's right, Charlotte. <laughs> Just the Bible and anal adventure is fun. If you didn't hear me at the back, <coughs> that's just the Bible and anal adventure is fun. Because now, if you do buy the Bible on Amazon, <laughs> it says other people that bought this book also bought Anal Adventurers 5. And not only is it a great recommendation, but Charlotte and I still earn some royalties. It was the best summer job ever. Uh, yeah, and I think that, yeah, I think that you can, I mean, every day is a treat, and I think you can really re realise that even more. And the easiest way you can realise that is to do what I do, and I like to think about death. Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> but I think most people tend to think of death as a bit like Crocs. It's a tragedy, but it's something that only happens to other people. <laughs> The, and, and it's very strange, like apparently we can't even think about it. Now I don't know if, I mean most people have seen Damien Hurst, he put a shark in a tank. He put this shark in a tank, it became very famous. And he called that the physical impossibility of death in the mind of someone living pretty deep. <laughs> now I'm not sure if a floating carcass in a tank is art. But if it is, then surely we should all salute the genius of Sir Michael Barrymore. <laughs> What's that, Michael? A game of hide the chair leg? <laughs> and it's weird, it's really weird, and we don't like to think about it. Apparently we can't even think about it. And then, uh, when, when Michael Jackson died, uh, what a surprise that was. <laughs> he always seemed so healthy. Uh, yeah, so when he died, one of his brothers, it was Tito, or one of the other brothers I don't give a shit about. And, uh, I don't know, one of the other brothers which is named after communist dictators, maybe Pol Pot Jackson, <laughs> Stalin Jackson, who cares? And, uh, and he said, uh, well, the tragedy is this death could have been prevented. I thought, no, at best it could have been rescheduled. <laughs> And, and it's weird, and, like a, and I think it's a good thing to think about it. I'd say that the only good thing to come out of the whole Jade Goody story, uh, other than the obvious... <laughs> Look, I'm not going to pretend she's a hero. I'm not, like, I'm not like the son that forgot she was racist. <laughs> or the Daily Mail that just never cared. And, uh, and it's a bit, you know, it's a bit slightly like shooting fish in the barrel with Jade, except even, even easier. It's a bit more like harpooning Beth Ditto in the bath. Uh, and, uh, but my favourite part about her racism wasn't so much the racism, because that was like average racism at best. <laughs> Try a bit harder. But my, my favourite part was her defence for being racist, when she said, I'd just like to make clear that I'm not a racist, but I did act like a racist. <laughs> That's a defence which doesn't work. If you say, I'm not a rapist, <laughs> but I did act like a rapist. It's, fu it's fundamentally flawed and afterwards, it's rubbish. And afterwards, uh, she tried to profit from her racism because then she released a perfume uh, and she called it Controversial by Jade Goody. Uh, you might not have heard of it, but it was made by the same company that produced Mischievous by Harold Shipp. <laughs> <laughs> he can clap! Yeah. Amazing! Well, these guys are giving him a round of applause.
of prawns, huh? <laughs> so, hold on, which one have you dressed in? <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's got the good laugh as well. Amazing. Uh, yeah, because I started to think of death 